London Snow by Robert Bridges When men were all asleep, the snow came flying, in large white flakes falling on the city brown, stealthily and perpetually settling and loosely lying, hushing the latest traffic of the drowsy town, deadening, muffling, stifling its murmurs, failing, lazily and incessantly floating down and down, silently sifting and veiling road, roof, and railing, hiding differences, making unevenness even, into angles and crevices, softly drifting and sailing. All night it fell, and when full inches seven it lay in the depth of its uncompacted lightness, the clouds blew off from a high and frosty heaven, and all woke earlier for the unaccustomed brightness of the winter dawning, the strange unheavenly glare. The eye marveled, marveled at the dazzling whiteness. The ear hearkened to the stillness of the solemn air. No sound of wheel rumbling nor of foot falling, and the busy morning cries came thin and spare. Then boys I heard, as they went to school, calling. They gathered up the crystal manna to freeze their tongues with tasting, their hands with snowballing, or rioted in a drift, plunging up to the knees, or peering up from under the white mossed wonder. Oh, look at the trees, they cried. Oh, look at the trees. With lessened load, a few carts creak and blunder, following along the white deserted way. A country company long dispersed asunder, when now already the sun, in pale display, standing by Paul's high dome, spread forth below his sparkling beams, and awoke the stir of day. For now doors open, and war is waged with snow, and trains of somber men, past tale of number, tread long brown paths as toward their toil they go. But even for them a while no cares encumber, their minds diverted. The daily word is unspoken, the daily thoughts of labor and sorrow slumber at the sight of the beauty that greets them, for the charm they have broken.